thoughts and observations after watching the film of the Bears' 297 loss against the Buccaneers in Week 2 help wanted the Bucks had a simple plan to stop the Bears' sellout to stop the run and force quarterback Mike Glennon to beat you with his maligned receiving core and tight ends. And it worked perfectly. Bears quarterback Mike Glennon hands off to Jordan Howard on Sunday. AP the speed and athleticism of the Bucks linebackers, Levon David, Quan Alexander and Kendall Beck with the third-round pick this year, made for serious problems. The trio shot gaps and sped past blockers often. This is where Kyle Long, who still is rehabilitating his surgically repaired right ankle, is missed. Long's own speed and athleticism make him formidable at the second level of defenses. Running backs Jordan Howard and Tara Cohen combined for 16 yards on 14 carries in the first half against the Bucks. Howard was a non-factor, producing 7 yards on 9 carries. The Bucks tackled Howard three times for losses in the first half. Cohen's speed also wasn't the factor it was in week one. He was taken down twice for losses during the possession that ended with Glennon's pick six. Long also was missed against defensive tackle Gerald McCoy, who shoved left guard Tom Compton out of the way to tackle Howard for a three-yard loss on the Bears' first play from scrimmage. McCoy also was credited with four hits on Glennon. It's worth noting that Long didn't play much in the Bucks' 36-10 blowout of the Bears last season. He suffered his gruesome ankle injury on the third play of the second quarter with the Bucks only leading 73. The Bears' struggles in the run game started in Week 1 against the Falcons too. After gaining 99 yards on 11 carries in the first half, much of that being on Cohen's 46-yard scamper, the Bears rushed for 26 yards on 8 carries in the second half. Late concerns while mentioning that the Bears had two dropped passes in their final possession against the Falcons, coach John Fox added that there was six drops against the Bucks. But there is a significant difference in the importance and timing of the drops. Against the Bucks, the Bears dropped five passes in the fourth quarter while trailing 290. Cohen, Josh Bellamy, Tanner Gentry and Kendall Wright twice were responsible for them. The Bucks had their late drops too. Safety TJ Ward almost intercepted Glennon's underthrown pass to receiver Dion Thompson in the final two minutes. The deflected pass also fell through the hands of cornerback Vernon Hargreaves 3. Want a positive? Rookie safety Eddie Jackson was aggressive in run support. It was a positive performance after he failed to tackle Falcons tight end Austin Hooper on his 40 yard catch and run. Jackson's tackling also was a pre-draft concern. Jackson's first four tackles came against running backs. He helped defensive lineman Akeem Hicks stop Charles Sims' three for no gain on a third and shirt in the first quarter. Jackson also cut through a hole to tackle running back Jack Wiz Rogers for a one-yard loss in the third quarter.